Ciao friends, Beth with Thimblehooks and today I'm going to show you one of my favorite things that I love to make um, blankets and afghans and all that is just a C to C, corner to corner and I have five different ways that I make a C to C. So I thought I'd show you all the different ways and give you examples of each one. All of these are made with Caron Simply Soft that I have on here. All of these are made with Caron Simply Soft and a five millimeter hook but this way that you do the stitches makes everything different. I'm going to show you the classic today. This is a classic or the traditional, um, let's see, the classic or traditional or a 6-3. And the reason that it's called a 6-3 is what I will show you first. I'm going to set these guys aside. This is a traditional one right here compared to a modern or an adjusted or a 5-2. This is a mini. And this one I call lacy. It's got open spaces. And then this one is a grafgan, as is this. Grafgan is the one where you get all the cool pictures. You can make just about anything you want to as long as you have if you have a graph and have you can even write it out on graph paper. You can print it. You can find lots of patterns out on Pinterest. All kinds of things. You can make one yourself. You can do whatever you want. So, But today I'm going to show you the traditional 6-3. So this is the traditional or the classic Start out with the slip knot and use the whatever yarn you want and the corresponding hook. This is uh, Karen Simply Soft. This one is Robin's Egg, I believe, is this blue, and I'm using a 5mm hook. So the reason it's called a 6 3 is we're going to go 1, 2, 3 chains. Just hold that spot. And 3 more for 4, 5, and 6. And now we're going to double crochet into these three chains, the very first three chains that you made in this little piece right here. So there's one, and two, and three. We have our very first little square. Nice. So now to do the next row, because it goes corner to corner. So we're going to start, we started here and we're going to work this direction. So every line, every row gets one more when we're starting. So this was the first one. Now we're going to make two. Then we'll go on to three, and we'll go on to four. But now we're going to make two. So the way we do that is exactly the way we just started. So it's one, two, three. Just mark that with your finger. Four, five, six and double crochet into the first three chains that you had just made. So we're doing an increase to two. So now it looks kind of wonky, so we have to connect it. So what we're going to do is find that chain two space right here. And a lot of people tell you to do, to go into that chain two space and do a slip stitch. I do not do it that way. I don't like the way it looks. So what we're going to do, it's a cleaner look for me, but go in. Here's the chain two space. We want to find this stitch right here, right there. Not through the chain space, but the stitch next to it, and we're going to do a slip stitch. There we go. And we're going to chain three and do three double crochets into this chain space right here. There's one, two, and three. There, we increased 
one, there's one, and there's two. So we're going to increase to three now. So again, one, two, three, and just hold that stitch, four, five, six. So there's the six, and there's the three. So this is the traditional or the classic, the original, whatever you want to call it. And now again, we have to turn our work and find this chain space right here. And we want to work into this stitch, not the chain space. We want to work into this stitch right next to it. And just do a slip stitch. One, two, three, and into the chain space, three double crochets. You can see how this is really simple. As long as you're comfortable with double crochet, <laughs> you can do this all day long. It's just really, really easy. So there's our three double crochets. We're going to do the same thing over here. Here's our chain space, but we want the stitch that's right next to it. And go slip stitch. And one, two, three. So there's the three of the six three. One, double crochet, two, double crochets, and three double crochet. So there we just increased. There's one, there's two, and there's an increase to three. So we're going to do what one more time. So here's the six. One, two, three. And I hold that stitch. Four, five, six. And double crochet into those first three chains. One, double crochet in each one. And flip your work up a little bit. Find the chain space, but we want the stitch right next to it. And a slip stitch. One, two, three. And there's three double crochets in that chain space. We'll finish this row out. There's our chain space. Now we're increasing to four. There's our chain space, but we want the stitch that's right next to it, right here with a slip stitch, chain three, and there's our chain three space, three double crochets into that chain space. And we'll do the last one for row four. This is really, really, really easy. It works up really fast too. One, two, three and in the chain space, one double crochet, two double crochets, and three. There, we just increased to four. There's one, one, two, one, two, three, and one, two, three, four. And we're gonna turn this corner one more time, and then I'm gonna show you how I change colors. There's many different schools of thought on that. There's the th first three, and four, five, six, double crochet into those first three chains that you just made of the six. And complete that stitch. And we're gonna flip this up. So we're building a little staircase right here. I'm gonna show you how I change colors. A lot of people will tell you to do it right here instead of finishing this stitch. I'll tell you to do this. I don't care for it as much that way, personally. So I finish this stitch. Set that aside for a moment. And get my new color. I like to leave a nice long tail to weave in later. Leave it as long as you 
want to. You have to be able to get a needle on it and be able to weave it in and out so we don't come unloosened. We don't want it to get loosened. So what we're going to do then is there's our chain space right here but in this little stitch next to it where we've been doing our slip stitches go into that stitch and attach our new with a slip stitch. And now we'll do our chain three. One, two, three. Three double crochets into that chain space. And there you see. We're gonna do the same thing again, right up here. There's our chain, there's our chain three space. We want the stitch right next to it, which is right here slip stitch, chain three, and three double crochets in the chain three space, which is right next to the stitch that we slip stitched. We do not slip stitch into, I do not slip stitch into the chain space. One, two, three. and our three double crochets in our chain three space. We'll do this last one and we're going to turn the corner. So there's our chain three space and right next to it is the stitch, slip stitch, chain three, and three, and two, this last one. And you can see we've made a nice little stripe. And of course you have our long ends so we can tighten all these up as we go. That's why I leave them long. Don't do anything with those for a while. You want to get a few rows out before you start dealing with any ends. Personally, I wait until I'm almost done with the project or completely done with my project and then see how I want to weave in all of my ends. Sometimes there's a little space that you might want to cover up. If one of your stitches got a little bit loose or anything like that. So now we're going to turn this corner. We're going to start going this way. We're going to stop this. We're not going to do any more increases. So right now we just finished the square. Let's just turn our work and we want to slip stitch. Three slip stitches one into the very first stitch that you were that you just completed and there's another right next to it and one more so there's three we kind of made a corner there now we're going to go one two three and continue there's our chain three space right there and do three double crochets into that chain space one two and three. And we'll continue down. There's our chain three space. I'm going to slip stitch into the stitch next to it. Chain three. Three double crochet. There's our next stitch. Slip stitch. One, two, three and three double crochet. And a slip stitch. One, two, three. Now this is going to be our last stitch. We're going to turn this corner as well. So there's one, two, three double crochets in our chain three space. And then as we did before, find our chain three space here. The stitch next to it gets a slip stitch. And then we're not going to increase anymore. So I want to spin, just turn my work, and three slip stitches into the double tops of the double crochets that we just finished. There's one slip stitch, two slip stitch, and three slip stitch. 
So now we're ready. Here's our, we're all lined up. So we're going to do chain three. Right, so there's our chain three. We'll do three double crochets into that chain three space. It's all about threes. And there's our chain three space. Stitch right next to it. Slip stitch. One, two, three. Three double crochets in the chain space. And see how quickly this works up. Once you get on a roll, everything is the same. One, two, three. Three double crochets in our chain space. And now we're at our end again. So there's our chain space. We want to go in the stitch right next to it and slip stitch. And we want to get we need to get over here. So we'll spin our work and slip stitch in the top of the three double crochets that we just made. And now we're lined up and ready to do our next stitch. One, two, three. One, two, three. All about threes on the traditional or the classic. Corner to corner stitch or a C to C. That's what I usually call it. There's our slip stitch. There's our chain three. And one, two, three. Double crochet. And one. There's our chain three space. The stitch right next to it. Slip stitch. Turn our work. Slip stitch one, two, and three across the edge. And there's we're all lined up for our next stitch. This is our last stitch to make a square. One, two, three. This is our last square. Double crochet number one, number two, and number three. And this is how we finish. There's our chain three space. Go into the stitch right next to it. Slip stitch. And just like we did on all the other ones, you turn your work and we're going to slip stitch number one. The tops of the double crochets we just did. Number two and number three. quickly that works up. It was just amazing how quickly this works up. And then you just finish off any way you want. And you're done. This is the classic or the traditional. A little bit bigger. Stitches a little bit bigger. Um, openings in your chain three space. So I don't I don't use this one for a graph gown when I'm trying to do make a pattern and make something cute in the middle of it. I don't use the classic. This would be if you wanted to make a big afghan and just have a bunch of stripes. This is perfect. You'll have the good spots right here. You'll always be able to find your chain three spaces. It's a little bit airy, a little bit roomy, a little stretchy, and it's awesome for just a big blanket or big throw, especially if you want to just do colors and stripes. Not necessarily what I would recommend here, but this is a good place to start. And when you're done, you have a little coaster at least. But that's how easy that works up. It makes you a very nice little square or a rectangle. Great for making stripes. They're big, just a big afghan, and it doesn't take it doesn't take much planning or thought. You just grab some colors and go. Change colors whenever you want to. When you feel like it's big enough, you turn the corner. It's all, it's all there is to it. It's really easy. Again, that was the traditional or the classic corner to corner in crochet, or I call it a C to C. You'll see that written down a C, a two, and a C. You'll see that in a lot of uh, a lot of searches instead of typing out all the way to corner to corner. So you'll find that abbreviation and that's basically what you're looking for right here. Please stop back soon and I'm going to show you some more ways that I do the uh, corner to corner stitch. I have five different ways. This is the first one. This is the classic. So thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my channel. Please subscribe and I'll see you soon. Thanks.
拜。